Local teenagers accused of a crime spree with a federal agent's gun collection. I'm Shay Rozzi. I'm Jonathan McCall. Clay is off tonight. Tulsa police say this all started in Bixby and ended in South Tulsa. New at 10, Fox 23, Sarah Whaley is live with how those suspects got into an FBI agent's car. Shay, police say that last Friday the group was in Bigsby going around checking doors and breaking into any car that they could find. Now they say that the FBI agent's car was among those broken into and police say after that hit the kids had the weapons they needed to come back to Tulsa and rob people here. Ready? Any time he wants a little practice. Zoli Pete heads to Zinc Park in Midtown Tulsa. It's quiet, very friendly. That was until over the weekend when Tulsa police detectives say a group of three teens tried to rob a couple at gunpoint at that park near 31st and Trenton. That is scary because if they'll go that far, there ain't no telling just how far they will go. It was a crime spree that started with car break-ins. Detectives say these kids were really about crimes of opportunity. They say often they would just go to neighborhoods checking doors just to see if they were unlocked. Now on two occasions, police say that the kids found that the owners had left the keys inside of the car. So those two times, the kids forgot about the things and just took the entire car itself. Tulsa detectives believe the kids drove one of those stolen cars to Bigsby last Friday night to commit even more crimes, and that time they hit the jackpot. Police say they broke into an FBI agent's car and stole several guns. It was then that officers say they used those guns to rob people. No, nah, that's crazy. I I'm, I'm sure he has some markings in there to say, like, this is the police. Don't mess with this. And, uh... They did. Pete is disappointed in the accusations. There's no limit. You know, like, uh, I got a gun, I'm Superman. And Tulsa police say they were able to catch up with and arrest this group near 71st and Harvard after a short chase over the weekend. And the good news is detectives say they were able to recover most of those agents' guns. Reporting live here in downtown tonight, covering news that matters, Sarah Whaley, Fox 23 News.